everything is perfect, I thought I would take you through what I have set up already and ask you to help me how to tackle the rest of it. I'm good at many things, I, I can admit when I'm good at something, but it's equally important to admit when you're not so good, what your weaknesses are. And mine, frankly, organizational visual stuff is not my, not my thing. So I want to show you what I have and what I'm working with, and then I want you to give me some suggestions because you've probably watched a lot of other videos like this or are way more organized in your real life, and you can help me. So I'm going to take the camera off of me and, um, it's hot in here, and, uh, walk you through this. So here we go. I think it's important to see where I'm coming from and then you can see, understand the filming setup. So I'm standing in my filming area. I like to call it our sitting room and that is the bedroom. The closed white door is the entrance to um, our room and I will come around. This is my constant companion. It's his bed and we just sometimes sleep in it. So you walk in and this is sort of like the there's an archway I should show you. And that archway basically delineates the personal master bedroom space from my work area. Um, like I said, it's a work in progress. So that is a basket of pictures that I need to sort and put in albums or do something with. I haven't gotten there yet. Those are shoes. <laughs> um, those are, the leopard flats are from Target. They're really old. I wish they still had them. I highly recommend them. And those are my new um, booties that I got in the Nordstrom sale. Okay, so the first thing you see will go left to right. First of all, we do have like a giant, it's basically a giant bay window. So there's a lot of light in here. I have the blinds closed for now because it's 100 degrees outside and I don't want the light shining in here. This is my desk area. Everything in here is from Ikea. These are two sets of Alex drawers, the one, two, three, five drawers. And then, um, actually I lied, this tabletop that I still haven't quite figured, I, I have a question about that. The tabletop we ended up getting from the container store. The original tabletop that I bought for uh, to be the top was too short and it didn't allow me enough knee space in between the drawer stands. So this was from like the Elf, Elfa collection at the container store. It was very inexpensive. The lamp is also from Ikea and what I don't like about it is that to turn it on it's on the side so I do like that it's a very focused and directed light so if Michael's sitting in there reading or trying to sleep this light doesn't really bother him. Let's give you a little tour of my desk top. Let me turn off this light. I think it's distraction. distracting. So I have my planner um, that I'm using right now. I guess that's the giveaway about what planner I am using. That is a separate video. Um, mostly I'm using this because I paid the most for it, so I feel like I need to use it. And I do, I do generally like it. Um, I don't think I will repurchase it next year, but that's a whole another video. Um, I like uh, notes. I take a lot of notes. I am not the most focused person. Notes keep me focused. I got this to-do list from the Target dollar store. I'm working on my packing list for our trip to New Mexico. Yay! Um, I should be better about putting my jewelry away, but it ends up being stacked in the corner. This is a little tree stand, a ring tree stand that I got from Bobble Bar. It's a bunny. Um, it's no longer available. They do sell other ones, but I thought that was cute. This, I don't know where I got this. Maybe Target? I also have no idea where I got the Lucite card. Oh yes, I do. I got this at the container store and I just have some business cards there. That's my external hard drive that, um, it's my second one, I love them. This is my MacBook Pro. I adore it, I really do. But it might be time to upgrade it. It's getting a little slow. It's like three years old maybe. Um, I always have a notebook. This is the Cambridge. I liked the metallic one. This is the middle size. I would, um, I'm almost ready to ditch this one and get the full size one, even though it's expensive for a, for a um, it's kind of metallic. I don't know if you can see that sheen. I just need a little more room. So I use it to make notes for my videos or like here's where I'm listing what all this stuff is. Um, I'm working on my Nordstrom haul video that just went up on Wednesday and listing, you know, what I'm wearing, what are in all the outfits, that kind of stuff. I take notes as I go. Here's my planner video um, It's coming up. Yes, I'm gonna be offering a code. Don't worry, it is not an affiliate code. I don't make any money off that. Um, 
this area is kind of a work in progress. More notes, like I said, I like taking notes. So this is for specific notes, that's a to-do list. This is just random scribbles. Um, this is my water cup, it's from my synagogue. I think this is really funny, it's a shalom yom. These are my coasters. I don't know why I have them stacked. This was an old set, and this is a coaster that I think Jake made me for Mother's Day or holiday. Oh no, it's Shane. Look at that, Shane. Nine, oh, 12, 10, 10. Oh my gosh, he was nine. He had horrible handwriting. Okay, this is my, these are my pen holders. I'll move this out of the way. Michaela from Miss Budget Beauty, Diary of a Spendaholic. She made this for me and sent it to me, and I love it. I treasure it. The file folders, um, the gold ones. I'm not sure where I picked those up. It could have been Target. I don't know. Um, I love these, however. These are just lip balms from Walgreens brand. I keep my hand cream handy, hand sanitizer. Um, a, sus <laughs> a subscriber brought this to me from at the Kendra Scott um, meet up and I love it. That's a picture of me and my grandma when I was very little. 75, so I was two. There's just some notes over there. Okay, so that's, that's that. As far as what's in the drawers of the desk, that is for sure a work in progress. Um, lots of private things, so I don't really, it's like office supply type stuff. Um, bank stuff, headphones that I use. I don't even, like, I'm just shoving random stuff in there. I haven't quite organized this. Got some pens. Very excited, have to say, that I love these Sharpie pens. Normally, they're only available in packs of three or so. You can now buy them in all kinds of colors singly at Target, so I did. Let's get on to the more interesting things. Um, so the desk, here's my issue with the desk. This tabletop is obviously, it's just a flat board on top of these, and it moves. So I haven't figured out how to affix it to these so it stops wiggling. Maybe just like some strong sticky tack stuff, I don't know. Suggestions, please. This is my chair and I adore it. I wanted something very unobtrusive, something I could sit on while I filmed. And I can't remember the name of the chair, but the chair itself is from Ikea and Michael put it together. I started and gave up. And then I just bought this very cliche sheepskin. It's the fake sheepskin, isn't it? I can't remember. I don't know. Sheepskin from Ikea because I don't like sitting on hard plastic. This is my favorite piece. I got this um, power strip outlet from the container store and I don't know if you can see but it wiggles. You can bend it and put it in circles and things like that so it can fit on tight spaces and it has a flat plug which you can't see because it's behind the desk but part of the issues when setting this up was that a normal strip outlet the the plug stuck out too far and I couldn't get the desk flush with the wall. So this, it has a flat socket. I keep my ring light here and my trash can that doesn't match. It needs to be emptied. I'm realizing the lighting here is a little weird. So um, I'm gonna probably have to get some studio lights. I just don't want more stuff sitting out. So we'll figure that out later. Then we get to the drawers. I have two, it's from the same line, and of course I cannot remember the name because it's Ikea and they have weird names, but I will list it below. It's, no, I lied, they're the Gallant drawers. These are just regular drawers and these are file, like for files. A couple interesting things to note is you can lock these, so um, if you wanna maybe hide things from your children, you can put them in the drawers and lock it. You can set the combo yourself. One thing I don't love about this is if one drawer is open, like say this is open, that's probably a bad idea. Let me do this one. Okay, if this drawer is open, that's station, my stationary collection, you can't open the other one. I don't know if that's a safety feature to stop it from tipping over or what, but sometimes it's annoying. But I do like that it has a self-closing feature. I also keep my MacBook Air here. This is what I use for traveling or when I'm you know, just gonna be working away from home. I like to take that with me. It's not plugged in at the moment because I was using it this morning. Um, I need to get a sleeve for that like desperately. This is my little half butted, sorry, I'm trying to censor myself. My weak attempt at some cute background stuff. There, this is a work in progress. That's a picture of me and Jake as freshman year homecoming. 
That is a Barbie doll my friends gave me. That's supposed to be me. Not quite. A candle because even though it's cliche, the dog's sleeping here, sometimes it smells like dog. I like matches to light candles. Um, this was from a trip we took to Vermont and that's from that. I haven't actually put this together and or used it, but I think it looks really cool. This is not a cross. This is a dragonfly that my mom gave me a long time ago. So there it is. And that's my family. Um, Framebridge framed this for me. Cannot recommend this company enough. I'll link it below. But that's us and our trip to um, Wyoming many, many moons ago. Okay, here is one of the issues. Hi! This full-length mirror, which I think is amazing, is quite the distraction when filming videos because, look, if I'm sitting sort of here filming my videos, you see that in the background, I see the ceiling fan. I tried turning it around, that might work. Um, hang on, you know what, no, I'll just stay here. That might work, but uh, I tried putting like cute sticky wallpaper on the back, that was a disaster, it got all bubbly and it didn't look good. So I don't know, I like where it is because it's great for me, like this. It's great for um, out for the day pictures that I haven't actually done, but I could. <laughs> that's the intent, that's why I got it. Um, and the light's really good here for taking pictures. But I'm not sure, I may relocate it over here to this side. And then I don't know what, if anything, I would put in the back. The other problem with this is that it interferes. I have to move it when I try to open these drawers. See, so if I want to get into the filing cabinet, I move it that way. If I want to get into this set of drawers, I have to move that way. All right, this is getting long and annoying. So <clears throat> this, uh, w this whole thing here, this the set of four and then the three deep drawers underneath it. This was Michael's first attempt at putting something together. This did not go as well as we would have liked. Um, as you can see, there, you can see the light coming through. This is one set, and those are one set, if I remember correctly. I have, at the moment, this is embarrassing, thrown all of my nail polish in here. Each drawer, I like the self-closing drawer, or the, not self-closing, yeah, I guess they are. Each drawer is supposed to be like a color family. See, look. Um, nothing in here. And see, look, the, yeah, these are not the best made. I would not recommend buying these again. I don't even remember what these are called. I will look it up. And then these drawers are like just more stuff or some Zoya stuff. So then this, this is the Alex set of nine drawers. This is the quintessential makeup loggers, um, storage thing. Guess what's in there? Absolutely nothing. I have put nothing in there. I haven't figured out what I want to do with this or how to set it up. Um, obviously the deeper drawers are going to go for my left, my extra foundations and then everything else I have no idea. So I have to go watch a bunch of videos on how other people do that. Sorry, I just realized I didn't turn the sound off on my computer. So I obviously got an email. On the top of my Alex drawers, you're going to see this in videos a lot. There's nowhere for me to put it. So sorry, you have to see it. Unless I can put like a cute vase over it or something. This is the remote control for my pool. <laughs> so I can like, um, okay, clearly the thermometer is wrong because it is not 58 degrees outside. <laughs> you're going to have to look at that. Hmm. Anyway, pool temp though, I know is accurate. 85. Um, that is a picture of Michael from our honeymoon. I think he looks pretty much the same, actually. That is a picture of my first Westie. His name was Rookie, for those of you that remember, and my best friend's daughter drew that for me when she was like, let's see, that was 08, so when she was 10 years old. Was she even 10 yet? Hang on. No, she was nine. That's another picture of Michael and the boys from Jake's first homecoming. You probably need to update that. That's a picture of Michael and Bosley, and Michael doing his favorite thing in the world, golf. That's an award I got from the school district. It's called the Superintendent's Award for um, extreme volunteering, basically. <laughs> and then this is my light-up G that I got at Hobby Lobby. I hate Hobby Lobby, but that was a cool G to get. And it has, like, glitter tape all in it and stuff. That is my Paris souvenir right there. I don't know why that frog magnet is there. These are my two beauty books. I don't have much of a collection. I'm starting to get very hot. There's no fan in this room, and there, like the ceiling fan over there, the air doesn't come in here, so I'm dying. I need to figure out a way to ventilate myself. Anyway, please let me know what you think of the room. I will list everything I mentioned in the description box, so scroll on through, it's gonna be long, sorry. 
and everything I'm wearing. Um, this shirt, I'll find, try to find something similar, but this is really old from Ann Taylor, like three years ago or two years ago. This is new and this is new though. Um, anyway, can't wait to hear your suggestions. I will update you as things change and get improved upon. I will definitely do a tour of the makeup stuff once there's stuff to show you. Thank you for sticking through this whole video. If you made it to the end of this video and watched it in one sitting, please say so in the comments below. Thank you for sticking around. I gotta run. It was great to share the space with you and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye. What I've done is enlisted my poor husband, Michael, to take pictures of me posing awkwardly in front of our staircase. I wanted to take pretty pictures outside, but it's almost 100 degrees outside and 